Hey, Star Wars Action Fair Collectors, this is Darth Phoenix 619 coming at you with another review. And this time I have a figure from the new wave of the Black Series 6 inch line. This is the Phase 1 Clone Trooper, and he is popping up in stores. I actually found this guy in retail at Target for $19.99. The entire wave was there. Definitely check out your Targets. I haven't heard any reports from Walmart. Uh, he is online, but most websites still have him for either pre-order or for much, much higher prices than what you would get at retail. So keep an eye out. It's a great figure. Awesome, awesome. I, I mean, I'm a sucker for clones, as most of you know, so I definitely had to get this one. Now, funny story with the packaging. He um, didn't come in a Clone Trooper Black Series packaging. I mean, it's your standard Black Series box still with the orange um, background there. But it's Anakin Skywalker. Um, yeah, the box was pr in pretty bad shape. Um, didn't look like it was tampered with. But, yeah, something happened. But, uh, you know, the figures, all the accessories were there. Um, the figures are in pretty good shape. So I took a risk and opened it up. And, yeah, he's, he's in pretty good shape. There is one minor gripe that I do have with him. And that's just probably just quality control on my part. So this this is great. I mean this I mean if you love clones you're gonna like this guy. So let's go into the accessories first. So first you have your standard uh blaster rifle here. Nothing special about this. Um you know it's a nice mold. No other paint blacks paint apps, just solid black paint. And he also comes with a smaller blaster pistol. Once again, a great sculpt, but, you know, the paint apps are nothing to write home about, just standard black. So he comes with those two accessories. You know, a couple more accessories would have been cool, maybe some pistols or something else, but other than that, uh, you know, it is what it is. So on to the figure itself. I really like the sculpt of this guy. Um, he looks fantastic. It's great to see the clone trooper sculpt in six, inch, in six inches because I think... I mean, a lot of people love the Stormtrooper, and I'm actually getting him pretty soon. And uh, But this guy, yeah, he's he's awesome. So, I mean, they are definitely going to reuse this mold many, many times. I know the Sergeant's coming out pretty soon, um, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> like I said, I'm a clone trooper sucker. So um, the belt's kind of a little off-white, but for the most part, uh, matches really well with the rest of the armor. Some good sculpting there. Uh, like the sculpting underneath the neck, you know those little details really, really uh, make the figure stand out. There even is some wrinkling right here on the uh, armpit area there. <laughs> See the com link, some details here in the back. Um, the helmet has uh, little paint apps there. Um, there is some blotched paint right there but not a big deal um, it's got the gray stripe going around the helmet which for the most part looks pretty clean some black paint apps a little more details right there which look pretty nice get a closer look of so the helmet looks fantastic visor paints pretty well could use a little bit of touch up on the edges but for the most part, done pretty well. Nice sculpting on the knee pads. I like the back of the knee pads there. The gray paint apps. And then you can see some texture here underneath the armor. This looks really nice. And then you got the boots. Some nice little details there. And you know, so even though he's pretty much white, <laughs> you know, all over, they did do a really good job with the sculpt. The sculpt makes me happy. And just for comparison's sake, here he is with a three and three quarter inch figure. And this is from the Saga Legends, which I don't have the vintage collection clone trooper, but I do like this body sculpt a little bit more only because he's a little thicker. But yeah. So uh, big brother, little brother. And of course, articulation is fantastic. you got your ball jointed head, ball hinge shoulders, which do have some limited mobility due to the shoulder pads. 
got double hinged knees. You do have a swivel at the upper bicep. You do have ball hinged uh, wrists. You've got a ball jointed torso, which has some good range of motion. Rocks back and forth. The helmet doesn't look up too high. And of course, the helm does look down quite a bit, but not up so much. And of course, it's not removable. Um, and also about the waist, you do have ball hinged hips. You do have a swivel at the upper thigh, ball hinged knees, and you've got the ball hinged ankles with the rocker. Now, my little quality control issue is it's a little wobbly. Not horribly wobbly, but a little bit. So yeah, this this guy's amazing. I, I definitely recommend him if you're a clone trooper fan. Um, customizing, I mean, of course, customers are gonna love this guy. Do some 501, some 212, you know, some 41st elite. I mean, you can really just the it's tons of possibilities. So it's it's gonna be a popular figure for sure. So definitely get him if you get a chance. If you're not a clone trooper fan, then yeah, it's probably a pass for you guys. So there you guys have it. Hope you've enjoyed this review. And until next time, may the Force be with you.